Core AWS Platform is a rapid application development tool used to quickly create multi-channel applications, including web and mobile applications for iOS and Android mobile platforms. The key feature of this platform is the creation of applications without the need for coding them with traditional tools such as an IDE or other advanced editors. Applications can be configured graphically using the App Designer, a web application where the focus is on the application configuration instead of writing code. Of course, you still have the option to inject code in the application when there's the need for it, but it can be considered an exception and not a typical way to create applications. The presentation and business logic of the application can be configured most of the time and coding is rarely necessary. Who can use it? Anyone who has the application requirements and is able to use basic SQL to filter. Basic filtering is sometimes necessary to select the correct data. No iOS or Android programmers are required if you have to create mobile apps and no web developers are needed to create web applications since these applications can be configured without any specific knowledge of these areas. Thanks to the use of an ARAD and the reduced cost involved with the creation of applications, since they can be realized without programmers, without technical knowledge and without the need to be maintained. Because the Enterprise Edition is released as a software as a service on the Google Cloud infrastructure, it's easy to maintain, install and includes all the features you need in terms of security, base software and hardware infrastructure and reliability. It's time to move on and see how to use the product in a simple scenario. We will create a web application, a sort of small CRM, used to maintain a list of clients and the projects and activities involved with them. We will see each of follow through these steps to the final result. Once logged on the platform, we have to create a new application. Let's name it CRM. Every time a new application is created, a few additional settings are needed. A context path is used to store within it a series of static content like images, style sheets and so forth. It's not essential but available if needed. Another property to set is the application title, the one we will see when starting the configure web application. The next step is to create the objects we need to work with, which will become database tables. In case of a small CRM, we need to define concepts like customers, the projects linked to each client, activities for each project. So we will create three objects, starting with the client. In order to do it, we use the tables functionality. Here, we will define the name of the table and then all the properties which will be stored for each record of the table. This is a simple operation, which doesn't require you to know a computer language such as SQL. A client could have properties like an ID, a name used to store the corporate name or the first and last name of a person, an address, city, zip code, a phone number, and so forth. Once we've done that, an internal representation of the table will be created and made available to the rest of the platform. We have to do the same for the other two objects, projects and activities. The environment also creates automatically a couple of business components expressed as SQL queries used to fetch all the data from the table and show it in a grid, for example, and the second component used to fetch data related to a specific record, that is to say, to a specific client. Let's open the business components list, select the right one, click on the edit button and apply the filtering condition. Basically, this is the most complex skill required when using the platform, a basic knowledge of the SQL language needed in case you want to filter data coming from specific tables. At this point, we are halfway through creating our application. It's time to create the user interface. Let's start with a window showing the customers list, composed of a filter panel on the top of the window and an editable grid where the clients can be added, changed, deleted. The required settings are minimal, the window title, an icon and the type of content to add. Here we can choose among a wide range of window components including grids, detailed forms, trees, charts, image galleries, maps, and many others. 
We select the Filter Plus Grid panel and click on the Next button. We have to choose which business component we want to fill the grid. We have already created it, so we just have to select it from the components list and click on the Finish button. We could open the project as an independent window when choosing a client, or include it as a folder in the first window, or as another panel in another area of the window. There aren't any limits when positioning other panels, and we can do it using the graphic designer. If we open the filter panel, we can choose which filters to activate and make them visible on the top of the client's list. The first functionality is ready to use. Let's have a look at it in the web application. We can open the web application starting from the home page, log into it and see the client's menu item. When clicking on it, the client's list is shown. Here we can add, update and delete customers. Let's go back to the App Designer and prepare the other two windows, one for the projects and the other for the activities. We can manage the client's projects through a window containing a grid and a detail form which shows a project in more detail. So we will utilize the same wizard we used before and this time we will choose the Grid plus Detail option. Here we have to choose a component to fill the grid and a component to fill the detail form. Once we have completed these settings, the window is created, but not linked to the client's list yet. So let's do it. We can open the already existing window related to the clients, choose the grid panel, and use one of the wizards available for a grid. Here, we can select the Open a window from a button and fill in the settings prompt by the wizard. At this point, the two windows are connected and ready to be used. Finally, we can add the last piece of functionality, the activities list. We can add it as a depending grid in the same window of the project detail. We can refactor the existing window and make space for it. We can temporarily remove the detail form add a folder container and re-add the form detail and the activities grid. There's nothing else to do. Our application is ready to go. Creating application has never been so easy thanks to 4WS platform. Now it's all up to you. What do you want to do with your platform?